Today's adventure, we leave the Comox Valley behind us and wind our way up the Strathcona Parkway to what is billed as one of the most spectacular coastal alpine settings in North America, Mount Washington Alpine Resort. Right now we're in one of the most beautiful places on Vancouver Island. We're tucked right behind the, the Raven Lodge here and, uh, and as a backdrop we have Strathcona Provincial Park and you can see it's kind of an iconic uh, image for us is uh, Mount Albert, Albert Edward in the background. So uh, a beautiful place is where all the cross-country skiing happens. So today I get to take a, a skate skiing lesson. Yeah. Any tips for me before I, before I boot up? Well, anybody that knows me uh, knows that I'm probably not the best person to ask for tips on skate skiing, but don't force it. Those skis are really light. You got to kind of get into a flow, but the best thing is you're going to be in great hands with one of our Nordic instructors. And listen to the pros, they'll give you the best tips. And uh, that's probably the best advice I can give is listen to the instructors because they know what they're doing. First things first, get the gear on. I'm going to give you these ones. Boots tied up nice and snug, okay. skis and poles, and we are in business. So I'm all suited up. I've got my boots, I've got my skis and my poles, and I'm all ready to start my lesson. Joining me is Colleen Roy, a ski instructor here in Mount Washington. And we're just about to get going here. What's the number one thing I have to keep in mind today in order to do this? you need to stay balanced. So you need to make sure that you're always in what we call our athletic position, which is really bad posture. Knees bent, shoulder width apart and soft and tip forward at the waist. You don't have any ski behind you, so if you stand up and do the alpine, you will go backwards. Okay. So soft, so, easy. So you know, this is my first time I've, I've been, for years I've been watching the skate skiers just go. whiz Fine. by me, right? And if one to try this, so are you confident that I'll be able to get somewhere today? Yeah, normally with a skate lesson, our beginner skate lesson, we require that people have been on their skis before. And if you've been classic skiing or downhill skiing, then we suggest you, you can try the skate ski out. If you've never been on a ski before in your life, then we want you to do a classic lesson. Fair enough. So you're right where you belong. Okay, well, let's give this a whirl, shall okay. we? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to double pull. I feel like I can just, you know, get going right away, but I've got to... Baby steps, so double pulling. These bent, whoops. <laughs> double pull. There you go, down and up. Down, down and, and up. Down and up. There you go. Oh, down this is gorgeous. Go. This is nice. In front, your poles are not your brakes ever. Okay, that's good to know. Okay? Yep. So nice and poles are not the brakes. Okay, now she's coming towards me, and this is what I'm going to be doing, hopefully. Okay. God, you make that look easy. And I've just got another skate skier. So, the easiest way to learn that? How does that this girl go by? Just like that, Margie. Yeah, you make it look easy. We're going to do it without poles. Okay, great. Yeah. Lots of moving parts, lots to remember. Yeah. And no lesson is complete without a little bit of theory and hopefully, eventually, put into practice. We want all your weight over the one ski. So think of toe, toe, knee, nose, Tony. So you're thinking of Tony all the way down Tony. the track. And you're going to look up down the track, not down at your skis. Uh -huh. Now your body weight is right over. But look, get all your weight right over and see where your shoulder is? It's way back here. Oh, yeah. Get it over. Oh, wow. There. Really? Is that you're better like that? There. Whoa, that's yeah, a commitment. That is. Now yeah. you're going to go and commit on the other side. Bring yeah, this side, this side doesn't like there to commit so much. And we're always going to have one side that's not as good as the other. Uh -huh. And if you watch tracks, there's always a short and a long, short and a long. Ah. Got it. That's right. Tony knows. Like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time, easy enough to do with plenty of practice and a bit of muscle memory. And under Colleen Roy's tutelage, I can see some graceful skate skiing in my future. Great, I love it. Okay, now, put it together. Okay, so it's baby steps, right? We got lesson one behind us. I learned a little bit, right? When, how, how would you grade your student today? You did great. You started to get glide. That's where it all starts from. Yep. Right, so it's not something you can just master the first time you go out. No. It's practice on flats and get more glide, and then it, then it gets easy. We teach you the hardest stuff first, once you get that down, then the rest is easy to add on to. Right. So we're into April. There's still lots of snow on the mountain. So there's still a little bit of time to practice, right? Absolutely. We've got lots of area to practice. We've got lots of lessons to offer. So come up and enjoy the fun. I can't think of a better way to spend a spring afternoon. Thanks so much. You're welcome. You did great. Thanks.
Lesson number one behind me in Mount Washington, I'm Marjorie Greaves.